Hi and Assalamualaikum. So for today we gonna learn the particle la. But before I begin, if you need translation or tutoring services, do contact me. Anyway, this la is very common and often time people ask me, what's the meaning? What's the meaning of la? So you will hear sometimes people say la, sometimes people say la, sometimes people say la. All carry the same meaning. So for now, we're going to check one by one, okay? And of course, with some adjective examples, even. So what exactly the meaning of lah? You will hear people say something and then lah. Okay lah. Those kind of words, right? So it's actually particle at the end, which is used to strengthen the meaning of the word. But not every situation is the same. So we're going to learn this one by one. For example, the kid asked the mom, Mom, can I go? So mom will say, don't go. So in aggressive way, mom will say, don't go lah. Don't go lah. So in Malay, jangan pergi lah. Jangan pergi lah. Or jangan pergi lah. Jangan pergi lah. Without the H. But the former one would be always with H, okay? So, for these examples given, I will focus more on the informal. And then, if it's persuasive tone, it will be, don't go lah. Right? And then, jangan pergi lah. Oh, jangan pergi lah. Jangan pergi lah. So, will you will hear lah and lah also there. So, it depends on the tone. It can make you more aggressive or it can make you softer. So, it doesn't mean like when we say lah, we really wanted to strengthen the meaning of the word. Sometimes, this is the confusing usage. It's different kind of meaning. Okay, awak, here you, rupa, form, shape or appearance. Rupanya, apparently, you will hear a lot of this word use. Okay, apparently, rupanya. So, in this situation, it has nothing to do with Strengthen the meaning of the word. So what is it? It's in the situation of you surprise, like you stumble across someone, for example, at the mall, and then this person say, oh, it's you. So if you say this in Malay, oh, awak rupanya. Oh, awak rupanya. Or you can also say, la, awak rupanya. La, awak rupanya. Let's say, you don't want to say this word rupanya. So you say, Oh, awak. La, awak. Next, another confusing usage. Also carry different meaning. For example, one friend say, I don't like this place. Saya tak suka tempat ni. Saya tak suka tempat ni. So, another friend respond to this. Why didn't you tell me earlier? La, kenapa awak tak cakap kat saya awal-awal? La, kenapa awak tak cakap kat saya awal-awal? So, awak and kat saya here, I put in bracket because in Malay, even if you don't use the pronouns when you say things like this, it's also okay, we don't bother much. So, normally how do we say? This is more common. La, kenapa tak cakap awal-awal? La, kenapa tak cakap awal-awal? Oh, la, kenapa tak cakap lebih awal? La, kenapa tak cakap lebih awal? Okay, so that's basically the usage. So this one at the front. So at the front, most of the time without H. But you can also hear somebody say with. So but the point here for this video, we focus on la at the back. Not really lie, the flag. So this is just the confusing usage you will hear. But also it's common. And then it's just neutral. So we don't want to emphasize or anything. It's just somehow it's just our habit to say la. Okay, I understand. Okay la, saya faham. Okay la, saya faham. So sometimes because we used to say la in Malay, we will have that in English also. Okay lah, I understand. Okay lah, I understand lah. Right? Oh, okay, I understand lah. 
So you will also hear particle use at the English sentence. Okay, another example for this. May I have your number, please? Can I have your number? In English, you normally say, yes, you may. Yes, right? So, Manglish, which is also heavy. It's not like we want to emphasize or anything. We say can, right? But another way of we saying that, can lah, can lah. Okay, we go to our adjective. So, here I give example. So happy. Gembiranya. Gembiranya. So happy. So here, nya. But it might not all nya means so. So, this is just for this example. So happy. Gembiranya. So, we put lah. Gembiranya lah. Gembiranya lah. Okay, next one. So tall. Tingginya. Tingginya. Tingginya lah. Tingginya lah. Next. So healthy. Sehatnya. That is common, right? And then we just put lah. Sehatnya lah. Sehatnya lah. Next. So intelligent. So intelligent. Cerdiknya. Cerdiknya. With lah. Cerdiknya lah. Cerdiknya lah. Next. So strong. Kuatnya. Kuatnya. Kuatnya lah. Kuatnya lah. Next again. So fast. Lajunya. Lajunya. Lajunya lah. Lajunya lah. Next again. So soft. Lembutnya. Lembutnya lah. Lembutnya lah. Next. So cheap. Murahnya. Murahnya lah. Murahnya lah. Next. So dark. Gelapnya. Gelapnya lah. Gelapnya lah. Next again. So rich. Kayanya. Kayanya. Kayanya lah. Kayanya lah. And then. So good. Baiknya. Baiknya. Wih lah. Baiknya lah. Baiknya lah. Next again. So interesting. Menariknya. Menariknya. Menariknya lah. Menariknya lah. Next again. So polite. Sopannya. Sopannya. Sopannya lah. Sopannya lah. Next again. So calm. Tenangnya. Tenangnya. Tenangnya lah. Tenangnya lah. So spacious. Lapangnya. Lapangnya lah. Lapangnya lah. Next. So enthusiastic. Semangatnya. Semangatnya. Semangatnya lah. Semangatnya lah. Then, so sweet. Manisnya. Manisnya. Oh, manisnya lah. Manisnya lah. Then, so creative. Creatifnya. Creatifnya. Creatifnya lah. Creatifnya lah. So bright. Terangnya. Terangnya. Terangnya lah. Terangnya lah. So cold. Sejuknya. Sejuknya. Sejuknya lah. Sejuknya lah. Well, from here you can conclude. Let's say you don't know the meaning of this particle lah. That is okay. Right? It doesn't change any meaning. But it does play a role if you want to be more aggressive or you want to be more on the soft side. So it does play a role. Depends on your tone. But even if you don't know, that is okay. But it's good if you can express yourself just like how the locals do. Before I stop here, if you need translation or tutoring services, please contact me. Well, I guess that's all for now. Thank you so much. Bye.
The human brain has always processed images, faster than words. Interesting pictures, and useful sentences related to the words, will help you retain the knowledge faster than you expected. E-flashcards make learning available for you, anywhere and at any time. Imagine that you need to memorize 1,000 words, on 1,000 paper cards. Instead of carrying a book or hundreds of tiny paper cards around, you can learn through e-flashcards. These e-flashcards can be viewed on various platforms and devices such as mobile phones, tablets, or laptops. By taking the phone anywhere, learners can effectively utilize their time learning, while waiting for public transport or traveling. 1,000 words, 1,000 sentences, e-flashcards, and e-book are out now. Grab yours today. Luabias. Extraordinary. Get yours now. Gina Amir's Learn Malay eBooks. Master Malay language in just a week.